Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another video. My main PC is still down and out. Um, I just finished doing the soldering on it. I had a couple blown caps on my main motherboard, which means replacing the caps is only going to be a temporary thing. I need to buy a new motherboard. But once I get the new motherboard purchased, um, that thing will be back up and running 100%. I don't want to push it too hard and have it just randomly shut down because the cap blows again. So I don't really have the time to explain how that all works today, but I wanted to make another video sitting here on my floor in my living room <laughs> because that's really the only option I got. My desk is full of computer parts. I wanted to make a video today about when I got, well, I guess I shouldn't say fired, let go, quit. Yeah, we'll say quit. When I quit, uh, uh, oh my god, CPR cell phone repair. So I used to work for a CPR cell phone repair. It was my first real huge repair shop um, where everything was being done from TVs to computers to mainly cell phones, hence the name. But I worked there for a while. It was the highest paying job I had ever had at the time. I was getting paid $9.50 an hour. That was my starting pay. That's where I ended. I was there for almost a year. I loved my coworkers. They were great guys. Um, one of them would come to work every day, virtually every day, um, stoned off his gourd. But, and this is before all the legality or all the legal crap, um, the owner slash manager of the place didn't care. I didn't really care because he didn't reek of it. Um, I have reasons that I don't really like the stuff, but I'll go into that maybe in another video, or like I'll do a live stream, and maybe if somebody asks, I'll explain it. I got a kitty cat in my lap. Anyway, um, but yeah, my coworkers were great, and at first, oh, you're eating the cheese out of my Burger King wrapper. That's adorable. The wrapper keeps moving, so she keeps t taking tiny steps towards the wrapper, and trying to still eat the cheese out of the wrapper. That's not real cheese. I hope you know that, cat. That's Burger King cheese. That's like paper. You're basically eating cardboard. She doesn't give a shit. It tastes like cheese. That's good enough for her. So, god damn, the ADHD is real. So, we're talking about what? <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, when I left CPR self on repair. So, it was great up until... One of my coworkers left for a new job. He ended up getting a job at a place kind of at, kind of like a place I work now. I'm not going to say the name of where I work now because that's just, you know, that's my own personal business. I don't want people like tracking me down by the employee records and stuff like that. Uh, not that I think you can that way, but, you know, I digress. Uh, CPR, cell phone repair, obviously repair computers, cell phones, laptops, whole nine yards. And for the first, like, six months, it was great up until that one coworker left for his new job where he got paid, like, double, uh, which gave me some indication that I knew I could be paid better elsewhere for the knowledge I have. What I ended up being best at at CPR cell phone repair was liquid damage repair and data recovery. So, especially with Android, because I always knew all the exploits to get root or unlocking bootloaders or taking... Uh, just stuff off of phones, just different ways to do it with the Android debug toolkit and the whole nine yards. As you guys know, obviously I own sinful Android. That should be enough <laughs> to tell you guys that I know quite a bit about the system. So that was what I actually did there was I was a liquid damage specialist. So basically taking a phone that doesn't work, like I have an iPhone X in my kitchen right now that's somewhat in pieces. And it's because it was liquid damaged at uh, the Ohio Comic Con by one of my friends. So I'm trying to fix it for her. And granted, I don't have all the tools here at home. For those of you who have some knowledge in repair, the things that I would mainly use would be actually a dehydrator, um, like a food dehydrator. A lot of people get really wide-eyed and confused when I say that. Also, um, an ultrasonic cleaner. And the ultrasonic cleaners are very expensive. I want to get one for myself here at home. I also want to get a food dehydrator, and I want to set up a full lab for doing repairs and teach you guys that kind of stuff, which is something that's been 
on my mind as an idea for this channel for about two years. It's just getting the money to do it. Ultrasonic cleaners for the size that I want can be like five hundred plus dollars, and the food dehydrators are somewhere around like eighty bucks for what I want. So, anyway, getting back to CPR, it was great up until, like I said, that other employee left for his new job. Then it was just me and one other guy, and it w it stayed that way for until I left, and then he ended up being alone. And I felt really bad about that because he was a really nice guy. He had a tough life. He was fucked over in a lot of different ways. But him and the manager got along really well because they both had military experience. So they were able to talk, hold a conversation, all that, yada, yada, yada. They were able to get along very well. Whereas I was just this nerdy guy that liked video games and dubstep at the time. So him and I got along really well because he really liked electronic music and all that stuff. Her and I didn't really get along very well because we just didn't. Because she kind of understood that him and I knew more about phones than she did or anything we were repairing. There were multiple instances of, hey, this is the part we need to order. And she'd be like, oh, but that one's five bucks cheaper. And she'd just decide to order that one when it was for the wrong device. So, for example, let's say a Galaxy S8. Let's say I need to order a screen for it. Well, there's the Sprint version, there's the Verizon version, there's the USA Unlock, there's the uh, China version, um, Unlocked version, there's the Xenos processor, and the Snapdragon processors. I actually have a Snapdragon S8 sitting right next to me right now. A 64 gig Snapdragon Galaxy S8. Awesome phone. Anyway, 64 gig too. Friggin' badass. Uh, Best Buy marked it incorrectly on their price tag, so I got it for $335 instead of $450. They didn't know. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, it still has yet to be unlocked because you gotta wait seven days after putting a SIM card in it to do a bootloader unlock and install TWRP, do all that shit. But there were there was kind of favoritism being played when it came to CPR self on repair. My God, I cannot stay on a story to save my life. Let's see if I can just say this from start to finish. Let me start from there. Oh my God, <laughs> I get so mad at myself for this, but for some odd reason, people love it. So let's do the cliff note version to catch up to where we are. So I started there sometime in like the winter. Worked there for about six months. Other co-worker left, so it was just me and one other guy, and the manager slash owner was playing favorites with the with my co-worker, because he'd also been there for like three years at that point, like from when she opened till then, and he's actually still there to this day. Um, I had to call him a couple of weeks ago because I actually got an email about a training for CPR cell phone repair that I wasn't supposed to get. It's been a good like three years since I've worked there, but uh. So, she was playing favorites with him, and against me at just all odds for some odd reason. When we were fixing stuff, sometimes we'd get stuff that we'd only done like one or two of. The iPhone 7 had just come out when I left. I was actually the only technician allowed to fix iPhone 7s because I had better luck with them because my coworker thought it was smart to use your long fingernails to pull the plugs off the boards. The little Lego connectors, as Jerry Rig Everything calls them, snap it together like a little Lego. Yeah, he thought it was a good idea to use his fingernails to unplug those. It's not. He was constantly pulling micro soldered uh, or machine soldered, robot soldered, however you want to call it. This re these really small components that are on the board, he was pulling them off with his fingernails and not no noticing it. The one that was very popular for him to pull off was the uh, backlight sensor, or backlight uh, fuse. He would accidentally rip that off the board nearly every time he changed the screen. And we didn't have the tools at the time there to do the micro soldering, so we weren't able to actually try to put that back on ourselves. We would always either have to ship the phone out or buy a new phone. In one week, that happened three times. And that's when the owner went, oh, it's okay, but we're going to have David do the iPhone 7s from now on. Because it had never happened to me because I did things right. I would use a plastic spudger, 
and I would pull it off very carefully with the rounded edge on the outside of the plug closest to the battery, which is what you're supposed to do because if you do it on that inside portion, that's where the fuse is. Well, that happened multiple times, and she never got mad at him for it. She never yelled at him. She never made him pay for it. But there was an instance, this is the one where I had finally had it. This is the one that sticks out in my head because it was so ridiculous. I was working on an iPhone 6, and I was doing a liquid damage repair on it while I was pulling it apart. And there's one component on that thing that's on those phones that's very difficult to get around and get off, especially when you have to do a case swap because the case was also damaged on that phone. So we were swapping the case. I was doing a liquid damage repair, and I ripped the uh, cable for the volume up, down, and mute switch on the iPhone 6. And that's, uh, at the time, probably a $1.99 part. It's not a big deal if you rip it. We had spares. I just had to open my plastic drawer, pull one out, put it back in the phone, and be done with it. That's all it would have taken. It would have taken me 10 minutes at most if it was being fussy after I did the liquid damage repair. The owner of the place lost her mind. This is just the one that sticks out in my head, by the way. This had happened many times before she had lost her mind again on me for rightfully so accidentally breaking a screen while installing it on a phone it was a phone i had only done a couple of so it was going to happen um she had lost her mind against me for uh destroying a battery by accident accidentally punctured it because the little pull tabs that are underneath the battery to pull the adhesive off of the battery ripped and i had to do the pry of shame that didn't go over so well. She got really mad at me for that. But guess what? That other coworker would never get yelled at, especially when it would cost her six or seven hundred dollars to replace. But I break something that's under fifteen or twenty dollars for the part, plus the labor time would take maybe ten, fifteen minutes at most, she loses her mind. So finally I had had it. She came in one day, I started yelling at her in her face. I was like, Why do you have to play favorites? Uh, even my coworker actually was starting to agree with me. It was like, yeah, it is becoming some bullshit that she's, I'm starting to notice the favoritism. He started to agree with me on it. And just out of nowhere, we started yelling back and forth and I had finally had it. The next day after work, I came in or the next day before I was scheduled, um, I had gotten the job at Office Max. I had taken the offer at offer Office Max. Uh, I took a 25 cent pay cut, so I was only 9.25 an hour when I started at Office Max. Took the pay cut and just left my work uniform for CPR cell phone repair at the store and walked out. Said goodbye to my coworker and walked out. He said, "I knew this. He, I rem, I'll always remember what he said. I'm going to miss working with you. You're incredibly smart, and you don't deserve this place. You deserve better." And I walked out, and that's one of the nicest things anybody's ever said to me. It's one of the nice. I felt great. I felt terrible for leaving him there, but he understood why. And even my other coworker, I had texted him like, "Hey, I just walked out because of this going on," and told him the story. And he told me, "Wow, it was going on for that long. I would have left a long time ago." I was like, "I didn't have an option. I didn't have a job. I got a kid on the way." So actually, yeah. So this is only about two years ago. Yeah, it's about two years ago this happened. Two and a half. I was only at Office Max for about a year and like a couple months. But that's what happened to CPR cell phone repair was just constant favoritism, constant bad part ordering whenever we would request a part to be ordered. The wrong part would get ordered, then we'd get yelled at for, you know, just doing it wrong or something. Uh, or hey, we need this one with the frame attached to it, and then we get yelled at for wanting to spend too much money when the customer is paying for the part. So all in all, working at a place like CPR Cell Phone Repair, unless it's a corporate location, be careful with a franchise. Also, uh, you break, I fix. Every single location that's a you break, I fix is also a franch or is a uh, franchise location. They are just a brand name. That's all it is. So be careful with those. I had a job interview at a You Break, I Fix, and the back room was the biggest joke of a repair center I have ever seen. Uh, plastic folding tables, 
Um, a basic soldering iron. Somebody's playing with fireworks at like five o'clock in the after six o'clock in the afternoon. That's weird. Evening. Uh, it's too sunny outside to see fireworks right now. Like that's fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, that's what happened to me at CPR self phone repair, and it was just favoritism. Uh, a lot of bullshit, a lot of getting yelled at for stuff that wasn't even our faults. And I just, she brought her dog to work every day, too, when the landlord had yelled at her multiple times, hey, stop bringing your damn dog to the store. So the only good thing that really came out of CPR cell phone repair was I was trained by an iFixit employee, X iFixit employee. Damn, cat. She just jumped super far. But the only good thing that ever came out of CPR cell phone repair was definitely the fact that I was trained by an ex iFixit employee. Uh, so that's where I really got my knowledge of repairs. And that's why I really want to start a setup to teach you guys the stuff I learned from the iFixit employee, ex iFixit employee. So that's what happened to me. Um, not as interesting as the uh, last video I posted. Um, but the next video I post on this subject will probably about when I was fired from Sprint. Or was that the last video I posted? I don't have my phone on me, so I can't check YouTube right now for the last video I posted. Ah, fuck. YouTube.com slash user slash Mr. Insane. So a lot of people want to know the reason behind that. Um, that's what the YouTube channel's name used to be, and I used to post, like, animated, uh, wallpapers. Haha, <laughs> too off. Anyway, the time I was wrongfully fired from BP. So the next video I make, I'll make it about Sprint, because that's a really interesting story, too, and I'll try not to have as much ADHD about it. Uh, <laughs> or I'll just record it right after this one. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I am going to just do a straight record, straight through, do another video. I'll have that one go up in two days from today or something like that. And we'll just go from there. Once my computer's back up and running, I'm going to do a, a data, data mine episode of the APK for Harry Potter Wizards Unite. I already know for a fact that on a non-rooted device, it is not possible to do a GPS spoofing. Because yes, you can change your GPS location and walk around with an on-screen um, whatchamacallit, joystick for your GPS, I did prove that works. But anytime you click on stuff that you're standing near, it suddenly just knows that's not where you actually are. I'm not sure how it does it. I think they pinpoint by cell phone tower. So even if you turn off your data and turn on your Wi-Fi, obviously your Wi-Fi is coming from a certain location. They're going to know that you can't be connected from that far away, for example. So we'll figure some stuff out. I'm going to mess with that game next. Uh, once my computer's back up and running and I actually have access to my tools. But next video is probably going to be the one about Sprint. And then after that, I'll have the Wizards Unite uh, tutorial. Or the Wizards Unite data mining episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I did actually also get some proofs in for uh, stickers. I got some... I paid for stickers off my own Etsy shop um, to get them sent to me to see how they turn out. They are amazing. If I can get some pictures, I'll try to get some pictures of them with my new Galaxy S8. Uh, well, it's not technically mine, it's my girlfriend's, but I'll borrow it, get some pictures, and send them to myself so they look really damn good. And I'll post them up on the Facebook page, and I'll show you guys what the stickers look like from the Etsy shop, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.